Hello guys, in this video we are going to see about preparing and pacing of concrete. The following steps are involved in the concreting. Number 1 is patching and 2 is mixing and third one is transporting and pacing and last one is compacting. Now we are going to briefly discuss for these 4 steps. Batching. The measurement of material for making concrete is known as batching. The following two methods of batching is practiced. First one is volume badging and second one is weight badging. Volume badging method cement, sand and concrete are batched by volume. A couch box is made with wooden plates, its volume being equal to that of one bag of cement. One bag of cement has volume of 35 liters. The required amount of sand and coarse aggregate is added by measuring onto the couch box. The quantity of water required for making concrete is found after deciding water cement ratio. For example, if water cement ratio is 0.5 for one bag of cement, water is required 0.5 into 50 equal to 25 kg, which is equal to 25 liters. Suitable method is used to select required quantity of water. Volume badging is not ideal method of badging. Bed sand has higher volume for the same weight of dry sand. It is called bulking of sand. Hence, it upsets the calculator volume required. Weight badging. This is recommended for method of badging. A weight platform is used in the field to pick up correct proportion of sand and coarse aggregates. Large weight badging plants have automatic weighing equipments. Second step is mixing. To produce uniform and good congress, it is necessary to mix cement, sand and coarse aggregate. First in dry condition and then wet condition after adding water. The following methods are practiced for mixing. Hand mixing and machine mixing. Hand mixing is required amount of coarse aggregate for a batch is weighed and is spread on an impervious platform. Then the sand required for the patching is spread over coarse aggregate. They are mixed in dry condition by overturning the mix with shovels. Then the cement required for patch is spread over the dry mix and mixed by shovels. After uniform texture is observed, water is added gradually and mixing is continued. Full amount of water is added and mixing is completed when uniform color is consistency is observed. The process of mixing is completed 6 to 8 minutes of adding water. This method of mixing is not very good but for small works is commonly adopted. And second one is machine mixing. In large and important works machine mixing is preferred. It requires quantity if cement and coarse aggregate are placed in the drum of the mixer. 4 to 5 rotations are made for dry mixing and then required quantity of cement is added and dry mixing is made with another 4 to 5 rotations. Water is gradually added and drum is rotated for 2 to 3 minutes during which period is it makes 50 rotations. At this stage uniform and homogeneous mix is obtained. Third step is transporting and placing of concrete. After mixing concrete should be transported to the final position. In small works, it is transported in iron pans from hand to hand of sets of workers. Wheelbarrows and hand cars also may be employed. In large scale concreting, chutes and belts conveyors or pipes with pumps are employed. In transporting, care should be taken to see that segregation of concrete from matrix of cement do not take place. Concrete is placed on form works. The form work should be clean and properly oiled. The soil bed should be compacted well and is made free from loose soil. Concrete should be dropped on its final position as closely as possible. If it dropped from a height, a coarse aggregate fall early and the mortar matrix comes. This segregation result into weaker of concrete. So final fourth step is compaction of concrete. In the process of placing concrete, air is interrupted. The interrupted air reduces the strength of concrete up to 30%. Hence, it is necessary to remove this interrupted air. This is achieved by compacting the concrete after placing in the final position. Compaction can be carried out either by or with the help of vibrators. 
First of all, we see about the hand compaction. In this method, concrete is compacted by ramping, tamping, spanning, or by slicing with tools. In intricate portions, a pointed steel rod of 16 mm diameter and about meter long is used for poking the concrete. And another second one is compaction by vibrators. Concrete can be compacted by using high frequency vibrators. Vibration reduces the friction between the particles and sets the motion of practicals. As a result, entrapped air is removed and concrete is compacted. The use of vibrators reduces the compaction time. When, when vibrators are used for compaction, water cement ratio can be less, which also helps improving the strength of concrete. Vibration should be stopped as soon as cement paste is seen on the surface of concrete. Over vibration is not good for the concrete. The following types of vibrators are commonly used in concrete. Needle or immersion vibrators, surface vibrators, form or shutter vibrators, vibrating tables. Needle vibrators are used in concreting beams and columns. Surface vibrators and form vibrators are useful in concrete slabs. Vibrating tables are used in preparing precast concrete elements. If you want to know more detail about civil engineering, visit www.civilsnapsa.com also you enter the comments about this video in comment section thank you guys we will see in next video